over because uh, they are also suspecting uh, that a new government, you know, say so, that's a new government in 2025, it was also that most of this restructured uh, debt, you know, the man on us no and see can walk a crown uh home treno. There's no the possibility of say which may settle energy debt sector debt, no, a very very challenging. The most of them will now begin to pressure government and say uh, the first quarter and second quarter and the was buying it me a settle uh, above half of uh, the uh buying a deal moka. Kaya e kaino enye uh kafufu uh kafufu no de uh, by now, year to say of the what we call the cash waterfall mechanism, a uh, framework, uh, all the uh, stake sector players and as a power service uh, uh, providers, you know, we need to say the only bit here, kafu fogia, ebe bumbi, but all can I do no through certain uh, off taker agreement, uh, through certain uh, uh, power purchase agreement, uh, through certain uh, transportation agreements, and on a IPP only. Other uh, power sector service providers, like I said, or some by Asians, the HR, such kind of So the pressure of one can and to say, yeah, I give them assurance and also uh, give them uh, give them a source of funding or the best at all uh, these uh, debts. And it's not assurance than any uh, concrete source of funding, but yeah, and yeah, do do want to know a very relaxing. Uh, Happy uh, FM. Check to government. But I say, Happy I'm FM. That these days I've seen that uh Ocean Energy Commission West Africa, most of the IPPs are not even producing as much as the country will need. Uh, for the first time in the last quarter of uh, 2023, for example, now your peak demand was higher than even the power produced in this country or power generated in this country. It means that uh, most of them threaten our money and again agro threat. And they are likely to uh, hold on to this threat until Sabah and Bitrium and we we'll continue to observe some of these intermittent, uh, but government is also good in terms of communication uh, because intermittent, you know, these days often a cost us, but here in Kasi, you so, but we can see a challenge, but I know that this has, there has been a short uh, supply of power in recent months compared to a big demand, and because of that now, I'm buying a reschedule uh, this power now uh, to various households appropriately. You see, uh, maybe uh, 2024, yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Because it also depends on government's actions. Hmm. That's uh, my, very prompt, hmm. and very assuring, and you're very uh, accurate in terms of mobilizing funds uh, to offset some of this data. And we are likely to pe- face some of these intermittents. Hmm. Now, how much data are we talking about? So, uh, who the IPPs now? IPPs now are talking about about uh, uh, a billion and five hundred million. That's one point five billion dollars. But who the, the whole sector? Debt, not only the IPs, when we are talking of both sector debt, we are talking of uh, gas agreement, which are also energy sector uh, service providers. Uh, we are talking of uh, transporters, people like WAPCO and Co. We are talking of uh, other power service uh, sector uh, service providers. Uh, only can be able to over two billion dollars. I was here in 2023. They have been allocated 20. Uh, 27 billion Ghana cities in the budget, but I might not even pay about 5 billion of it. But, you know, a canoe Abedaho, and I think I was there buying mass assurance. I buy mass assurance now, and we have a come on. But I buy and do my assurance now. Even Ghana Gas, com- Ghana Gas Company, which is a national company, is even complaining because almost of our supply gas, and the VR, but VR and Timmy Tiomo, and VR is not able to pay because government is not paying VR. It is buying. And to settle, settle some of these data, our own companies uh, will be losing, uh, and also some of these private companies, which will not sit and watch uh, their companies to be insolvent, you know, will now call a uh, government ransom. And to answer, then we will sort out how to And the non-intermittent power outages are community severe, you know, either because IPPC need be if you are seeing subtly carrying out their threats, Anna. Oh, yes, and I think that uh, before Ebeko Christmas, no crano, uh, Gritko came out to make certain public announcements, say, uh, during festivities, no, they are likely to be out of the list. Or no, the kind of one and number, because no, 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 the power produced then and the power consumed then. Mm. And so people in those uh, areas and another in these entities, they know the challenges, but you know how our politics and our, our corporate governance is done in there. 
uh, public space. Most of them are quiet, but I think Gritko brought a statement out that you observe some intermittencies, and I, and I yeah, observe a lot. Uh, currently, we have a short supply of our compared to our, our current demands, and because one man do so, do so, yes, we manage the communication for people think that it's not a do so. Mm. I stand to be corrected, but is it not the case, sir? I feel clear more no Minister of Energy, ne IPPC, Kasayama. Uh, some level of agreement to be called. So I'm not too sure what details uh, that agreement uh, carried here, but there was certainly a conversation about this debt, Mibwa. Yes, there, there was. There, there, uh, at least there was. And, and one thing, if you even take the PRC reports on certain issues, even the, some of the IPPs are not even talking about the old debt, which we call the legacy debt. They're mm. talking about recurrent debt, which must be paid through the cash waterfall mechanism. If you take PRC report, yeah, catch us a catch water for mechanism of crano. Implementing a full list, can never crana a beer for baby. A bra on percentage basis, no. Any sector player or any sector service provider has a percentage. I also realize it from any money, uh, ECG be realized it. But ECG this canna, now they acquired it for on PR massacre. So it's been there. And government made me a meet you more, a show more. But assurance must be back with the, the money. If the money doesn't come, uh, on Mestati, uh, agitated. And I told you that 2024 is an election year. Yeah. And any person, race analyst person, can tell that, okay, if you could go for NDC, you could go for NPP. And if you, the worst case scenario is going for NDC, and NDC comes and says, I'll not also pay you because I have other priority to take care of. It's good you take your money now or take more than half of it and then leave the other to risk. But, but that would be interesting to hear if, that would be interesting to hear from the NDC if they win power and say this because most of these IPP agreements are you almost on the buy? Yes, I'm on the buy and I'm buying for France in the soon. But you know, uh, they also they can make that case because a bit more than can also on KTR or so. But even new government has also signed certain contracts or has extended some of these uh, uh, agreements, teams, okay, uh, power, power agreements mm. because of this extension of these some of these PPAs, you know, I'm not. Or can be a become and as a via become a new government that even if it's going to be Bahamas government will find it difficult in 2025 because by 2025 most of the restructured debt, you know, or some of them will begin to to uh, to, 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 to begin to uh, material for payment mm. because of some do a very was a settle sack coming to know the ma a bino ne home back to the car into the whole thing that I do bit more catch you IPP in this show uh, what we say, uh, bondholders, a trimmy way, trimmy, mm. or some settle will be anti on the so many abutre, and I mean, yes, can be a media settle. And you know how much the revenue mobilization is done in Ghana, it's very mm. difficult to mobilize some mm. of these revenues mm. within the shortest possible time to offset some of these huge debts. And even the financial market has also been a bit, uh, very close uh, to, to Ghana. And you know, uh, we'll be a big car, and I make us whether in this or in MPP, you know. This risk is something the IPPs and, and other service, uh, power sector service providers will not like to take. And that is why maybe uh, the artist and doing so, but I've, 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 I've experienced quite a few the, the outages. Uh, but me and Cassie do so because the, the, the nomenclature has not gone there, say do so mm. because we are managing communication. But others continuously complain to me that the whole festival period, you no, know, almost every day. Some of them are experiencing low voltage, and as I'm saying, low low voltage is on trees in the canal. Oh, give you one minute. Low voltage tree. Low voltage in the canal tree. And they may be a new. Obiatia say, sir, you know, I'm holding a call for mana. Complain of low voltage is certain breaking. I'm holding a call for power supply and other things. You know. Uh, because mm. uh, IPP is not a producer less of uh, the power we need. Uh, what kind of low current? Low current. <laughs> yeah, low current. Low current. <laughs> okay, so explain to me this concept of cash waterfall mechanism. And then this strategy for fra abaine de babe addresses I kayana. Yes, so the cash waterfall mechanism no a a framework or a, a, a payment framework or a payment plan okay based on uh, revenue realized by by ecg and the ecg realizes revenue uh, there are these uh, 
sector uh, players and our sector service providers. And based on this particular plan of each sector, depending on the amount uh, or depending on the power or depending on the service delivered to ECG, you know, has a percentage of any revenue realized by ECG after ECG has taken out some of these operational costs. Okay. The ECG, the operational costs, any other cost elements, we must scan the canal. We say yet Emma, all the sector players and our service providers are only ECG. It mm. will be mm. here. Uh, for example, uh, Ghana Gas or say percentage corner hall. Uh, VRA or say percentage corner hall. Uh, Asogli or say percentage you corner hall. BMX or say percentage corner hall. AXA or say percentage corner hall. All these players you know, have a percentage that they get mm. from the uh, sales of power from ECG. However, we take various reports now. This is this kind of sometimes Utia Akestifoni be and Kitwani be our Utia. Sometimes Ukraine Akestifoni be also be a bit 10% and now it's easy to accommodate 2 percent But that is what the framework says, or that is the plan of mm. distribution of revenue by from ECG. But because of the ECG and follow planning, you know, and also no ama can it be a year recurrent, different from the legacy debt. Can it be a year for four I and also end how on for example. ECG, one of the Yaton in Amkania through transportation generators, or much in Amkania, one billion amount, one billion naya to amono, yes, with the operation cost, with the operational cost, no cost to be a member's accuracy, and the million, six hundred million nakano, as soon as you need the budget, ten percent, a jingo budget, twenty percent, a sunk budget, five percent, all these little would be a budget, five percent, but because of say one tenant here. Some could be any five percent a month, one twenty a BB, ten percent a month, and out here eight percent. And as some I think would be able to have twenty percent, less than twenty percent. The recurrent expenditure and recurrent debt, no so a balloon, a bear case. And that has been a problem that PRC is lamenting about, Energy Commission is lamenting about, any other power sector player is lamenting about, say, happy effort. Old debt in the interim chance is here, recurrent debt in the or say, Mr. Framework in it but the challenge with this particular framework is also that it's not banned by law. And then, right, the public now cuts down the edge of it as a memorandum of understanding about mm. sector players. Mm. The NM running team, anything between ACD account, you know, they acquire the four. NM branching is going to be one of the Minister of Finance and Directors and Mufan Kuyesi, Mufan Kutia. Happy FM. Also increasing the debt in the energy sector. And you know, and the more we are not even paying the debt earlier. The entry of debt in the earlier, no, because some of these are dollar rated debt, no. Mm-hmm. If they do tell you, Krana, the moment the CD depreciates, you need a lot of CDs to, to offset pay. these debts. Right. That is why I think, and Kayomaya, Sebi, Yenia, Bria, we need to offset some of these debts because some of these debt were incurred when the CD was seven Ghana cities. Some of these debt were incurred when the CD was five, five Ghana cities to a dollar. Now, today, the CD is around 12 Ghana cities to a dollar. Look at the amount we will have to cop in addition. To five Ghana cities to sum up to uh, twelve Ghana cities to compare to a, a, a one dollar, you know, and, and it doesn't it doesn't look like the city is getting any stronger uh, many times soon. Yes, it is. Well, and now it will not even get based on our history and the way we do things in Ghana. The mm. cities will never get stronger uh, that, that is, and, and becomes higher in value than the dollar because sad debt we are okay in twenty sixteen. Even if the debt occurred in twenty sixteen, and a debt near five uh, Ghana cities to a dollar debt. The moment you don't pay the debt and today is becoming 12 Ghana cities to a dollar, it means that you have to cough up a lot of, a lot, a lot of cities to pay the mm. same dollar rated mm. debt. And that is why mm. I think that as a minor, I was saying, may you bring a clear this debt if you want them. Because one clear in Tema, Abribiano, in, 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 in its equivalent in cities, no, a dozen. Mm. Abribiano in its equivalent in cities, a dozen. And your revenue, you get your revenue in cities. And the moment you get your revenue in cities, you know, our dollar and also uh, appreciate it against the idea. Always you need to mobilize a lot of them. And that is why sometimes it puts pressure on the whole economy because most of our debt are in dollars and a bus are not high end. Many are BB. We did everything I can say, I buy any abrisa or two, three, one, on three, but you can get free on a show of the big year. On my timelines to the IPP say, IPPs, these are the timelines. We are uh, first quarter, you will see, second quarter, you will third quarter, you will see. Now, the source of funding in the sick and honey free day bar, the sick and honey free day bar, yin yin yin, a free honey bar. So these assurances will limit these threats. But as a good assurance, beyond about million, the threats will keep on coming, and it is likely going to be worse in the coming coming months. Now, who paints a gloomy picture, Yamami? 
Adia ba kwa koso bi timu ni se it's likely sa ba yin be increase the tariff sa na because that's one of the sure ways sa ba yin be timi a raising revenue to deal with this debt. Is it your expectation say electricity tariffs be koso? Afi? Uh, it, is, it is not because the moment you increase tariffs to actually be also crashing out the economy uh, because uh, Africa ha, Bibrim ha, Ghana has one of the most expensive tariffs. We are as at uh, last year or last year, 2022, we are charging as, as high as uh, 19 cents per kilowatt hour. Even our neighbors, like the Cote d'Ivoire, they are charging somewhere 15 cents per kilowatt hour, some below 15 cents. Other countries want to compete within the after area. South Africa is charging below 10 cents per kilowatt hour. Egypt and Co are charging less than that. So if you per se are very competitive on the African continent and take advantage of the after, the so called after now, our electricity must be, 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 be below some of these countries or the price must be below some of these countries why is our electricity price so high prices are so high because economists or the ministry of finance and it's the bank of ghana whether fiscal or monetary have not been able to stabilize our dollar well and anytime the dollar depreciates uh, appreciates rather anytime the dollar appreciates against the city it becomes a debt burden onto the electricity user electricity How user abayenka it's a bit one of us, young person increasing and quarterly, let's increase electricity tariffs, let's increase the electricity. Who manages the dollar? The fellow who manages the dollar, and they will say, who's also managing it because me, I'm a two electricity, no, I'm not the one responsible for the depreciation of the city. It is the, the Minister of Finance or the Bank of Ghana who is responsible for the depreciation of the city. So if they do not take good decisions, very, very economical decisions, that will make sure that the dollar depreciates, but rather, Omo decisions only now has a near to appreciation of the dollar. Now we can see NPR. Yes, we have for sure NPR, but NPR also no. Now we will crash the industry. And to be frank with you, these days most of the industries around Tema do not even want to use power generated by by most of these the aviary or whatever, mm. or power distributed by EC. Most of them have begun to build their own plants to use their own Tema energy to power their their their, their factories. Their factories. Right? So because our electricity is becoming expensive. And because electricity is becoming expensive, they make us uncompetitive in the African sub-region. Sub-region. Sub, 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 sub PRC uh, will have his own justification of saying to Enyinam Kaniyam because CD has depreciated, because international market prices have increased. But recently, fortunately for us, on the international market, we've seen a, a, a stable uh, fuel prices, we've seen a stable gas prices, we've seen Stability in most of the uh, uh, commodities and fuel like it produces electricity and I see energy electricity. The only problem that is bedeviling us, which has been a bane, is the depreciation of the city. Mm. And it's not the fault of the petro uh, uh, electricity user, but rather the fault of government, whether the central government by Ministry of Finance or the Bank of Ghana, who is also an agency of government. Yes, the economy, no. Now, because at a point there was an argument over the nature of a year power purchase agreement. I hold previous government NDC enter into on behalf of the country. This concept of take or pay, ah, we we have we've had to pay for electricity, and I said. Uh, we've had to pay for an agreement uh, yen benefit. Uh, could that also be part of Nintia Ekawea Babeda or the the very nature and structure of the agreements Nibia and power producers Nibi Uremu? Oh oh yeah. So if you if you take uh, uh, the so called take or pay contracts, whether it's generation or gas uh, optic uh, optic agreements mm -hmm. and gas supply contracts are uh, and then you know Oh, gas supply contracts annually every year almost six hundred million dollars. We take uh, generation, so almost five hundred million dollars goes through take or pay or whatever you call it. But the major contributor of our debt, right? Major contributor of our debt, even though uh, take or pay ekahono, the major contributor of our debt is the lack of MDS uh, willingness. And I mean, I don't even want to call it willing. The lack of payment. Mm. By MDAs, that is ministry departments and agencies, to pay electricity. Mm. Electricity bills. Use electricity mm. and do not pay. Who take it? 
energy sector uh, debt uh, report on a recovery report by the uh, energy commission almost 1.2 billion dollars and now mds are used electricity hmm. mds that is ministries departments, departments and agencies and yes 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 electricity and they don't pay right we've tried as a country to meet them to them prepaid metering system yeah and to me because politically we are not committed so 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 what it simply means is that abaina nkasa owes about 50 percent of sake okay yes abaina owes about 50 percent of kano abaina mu true ecg so a boy and car because when you produce electricity and you sell it to ecg ecg loses about 30 percent of it the highest in africa through commercial and technical losses compared to other countries doing below 15 percent other countries are doing around four percent across the world. ECG it's losing thirty percent. Into the hundred billion mana, fifty thirty billion ashiago. Ashiago. Right. Yeah, they and they can tell you. Oh, we are not paying real estate tariff. We are not paying, and all these things contribute to the fall of the city. So every piano, the electricity consumer in a break. Whilst government appointees sit idle with no innovation, with no problem solving skills, they sit there. Waste our resources and they are because oh, you are realistic. You are realistic. Yes, we are not paying realistic. By a realistic now, you are pure crazy. Say now, must you are piano. The realistic is higher than Cote d'Ivoire. The realistic is higher than South Africa. The realistic is higher than any of the North African countries. So, how unrealistic is our tariff? Oh, so you see, that's why now I think this they, they do it uh, quarterly. Right, the PRC mm, with mm, other state, mm. stakeholder agencies and or stakeholder bodies will sit quarterly to determine based on international market price, based on certain uh, inflationary uh, figures, based on uh, uh, depreciation of the currency and other metering systems that will be put in place to put give us a new tariff in the coming month. Mm. Right, and of late, the, the last argument they made was that about uh, two years or so. They were not following that particular automatic adjustments formula. So now they want to follow it quarterly and then increase. And I make actually say quarterly now also will follow and continue to claim that Ghanaians are not paying realistic. No? They are not paying realistic because someone whose duty was to police the city against the dollar slept on their duty. So this dollar continues to depreciate mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the patrol mm -hmm. the, 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 the electricity user pays for it. Wow. Right. And that awesome. makes our electricity are very, very expensive mm. across Africa, mm. makes us uncompetitive on the African market. And that will also continue to lead to importation of goods. Because but, most of the, the industries in Ghana prefer importing than even producing it yet, because it's far cheaper to import some of these commodities than to produce them here. So what the best of channel. We are we are paying realistic tariffs. That is what we can pay. If government decides that lifeline users they are not going to be subsidies, they should clear it off and say, okay, lifeline users, we are not going to subsidize, you are not paying real. But even the, the amount lifeline users are paying is quite cheap, it's quite expensive compared mm. to our neighbors mm. in Cote d'Ivoire. Mm. 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 Uh, that, that, that makes sense in terms of the situation. It's quite, it's quite expensive compared to our neighbors in Cote d'Ivoire. Mm. But because but, we are paying between 15 to 19 cents per kilowatt hour. Right? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. The realism, no, is because we have not managed our city well. If you manage our city well, the ATR are not going Problem near forex management. In a... yeah. But Mekaisa, John Mohammed's administration instituted this idea of all M M MDAs having prepaid meters. To what extent? Meaning, so what you follow, Sadia, and to what extent was that uh, implemented? I've not followed it thoroughly, but what I know is that uh, most of the MDAs do not are not meted and that's the report from the energy commission that's what he said they are not meted at all they, they are meted but they are not prepaid meted okay so, okay right they are, mm. i know the energy commission has brought out on only a report with the energy sector recovery program report mm. and says that this is the amount the mdas owe the power sector players one point something billion i think 1.4 billion or so dollars right and they are not even ready to pay and that is why I didn't think that in our budget, in our budget, we must be specific on the amount of electricity that each 
Uh, your friends are uh, ministry mm. department or agency to use mm. if you overuse your electricity you use your antenna fans to pay in, that, in, 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 in fact capping system be in the appropriation you are suggesting say you can i don't see any electricity for any of the ministry in the appropriation and the disintegration of the whole budget statement which is at the appendix minister of finance cannot open up apart from administration then then they will say to me go to baby say she can say and the amount say for consuming electricity. If you go beyond the use of internet, then I generate fund to pay. Mm. Minister of tourism, scarce in the amount electricity. Who did bros work? Our internet generated here. Minister of health, the amount. So even the police, some of them, to make sure that they consume electricity efficiently, because we know that some of them even leave their ACs and their lights on for us even at home. Right, right. There was a time, uh, uh yeah, Fanny saying, former, former, the late, pres the late president, uh, uh, Atamels, Professor Atamels, made a statement that even televisions were not allowed at certain departments and agencies. But today, you go, they, they, they are there, they are there, and they are not even used for productive uh, saying, activities. They you, they, you are there, and you watch some of the programs they, they, they are watching there. And it marvels you that in a public sector like that, and you are watching these pro programs, and these are all using electricity, and they don't even pay for it, right? So the yeah. problem is is very cumbersome. But yeah, if I said yeah, twenty twenty four, and the ability as of one one seven for all. Me person me jam ako, but I have just about two more issues. Nanko abu amena matia sekakra. I remember say when the argument of take or pay by eh masine. Uh, power purchase agreements we don't need in this and you know the explanation about from ndc4 when he said um the idea was to be a net exporter of power and sell to our neighboring countries what happened to that and i'm even looking at how much we pay for a kilowatt per hour 19 cents and whether sankia see a tongue and power not to neighboring countries are a very attractive a very competitive umpana. Uh, they say, you know, I think West Africa, we are here to have a, a singular uh, energy market, or electricity market. Uh, mm. Most of us are not integrated into one uh, singular market. But I think, uh, you know, even I think, I know uh, Cote d'Ivoire and Ghana, we, we normally exchange electricity. Uh, I know uh, Burkina, we sell electricity to Burkina. But one thing the previous government failed was that you can generate electricity, but in generating you need the, the transmitter, the infrastructure to supply the energy to mm. other sectors or, mm. or other regions mm. in West Africa. Mm. You are generating you know, now open infrastructure you know, to supply. Okay. I think they didn't take into consideration the infrastructure plan, mm. which will lead us to supply to some of these. Because the old transmission lines now they supply now. Now it's been the air yeah, obsolete. But okay. That is why you've seen that. The, the French government, for example, had to support us to build new transmission lines, which now carries about 330 uh, volts, right? And no, but so we need the necessary infrastructure. Oh, the best supplier. Supply now, and I says transmission and distribution to our neighboring countries. Mm. So, so what should have come first? No, Sanke built that infrastructure and Sanke, according to that kind of agreement in Imibua. No, no, so I think that we ought to have engaged our neighbors, you know, because see, electricity too is not like the other code room now, because everyone has their own plans. Yeah. Within the framework of single market of electricity, and as electricity integration, no, it was saying, okay, engage you, you know, and you're more casual, say, the EPC generate, the EPC tone, say, mama, my ready, say, more better. If they agree, so my ready, then now it means that there's a memorandum of understanding or there's a contract. Then now you begin to build the infrastructure. So whilst you are building the generators or you are signing uh, uh, power purchase agreements, you are also building the infrastructure that will lead to the supply of these electricity to these neighbors. There was no any agreement whatsoever with all, any of these neighbors. You just generated. After generation, it becomes excess. Ah, you ah, so yeah, It becomes a debt onto us. Yeah, so okay. By that time, what generator you know? I mean, the neighbors have also started generating their own. Mm -hmm. So they don't even need your electricity. Anyway. Now, I... Matisa John Mahama, at the Bibia Betum, was in a 24-hour economy, you know, or Baba introduced lower tariffs 
ama businesses a e best subscribe to the 24 hour economy na e kwan be na be fa so e di low tariffs na ba no say or the special meters be ba o mo be calibrate no to give low tariffs to uh, businesses a o mo be operate anajo is this feasible from where you sit i think that governments must stop interfering in the sales of electricity in Ghana. Even mm -hmm. though I do agree that the electricity is very, very expensive FM. and making us uncompetitive. You know, Happy FM. Interference in the price of electricity also gives us some debt, which becomes very problematic to offset yeah. in the future. The India makers and say, you see, most of the debt and the year could pray into India is because uh, the current government in 2020 decided to to subsidize electricity. Mm -hmm. or subsidize electricity, you know, not only scout be clear. So if any government thinks, starts to think, say, we need electricity subsidies, right? In this, even though it is a good policy, I think that if you don't have the funds to pay for this subsidy, don't go there. Because you add up to the debt. Debt. So you must know, and that is why journalists, I think that if you ask them, okay, we subsidize electricity in 2024 to boost 24-hour economy. Electricity subsidies, no, here, a basic, a basic thing. Okay, bear bear one billion dollars annually. One billion dollars annually. What buy no obey no in on the year? These are legitimate questions. So happy because we subsidize electricity to boost growth. Oh yeah, yes. I'm a, I'm a businessman. I love subsidies, but as as also an uh, 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 an economist, no, we must begin. To ask questions on where we are going to get the funds to settle these subsidies or to pay for these subsidies. If you don't have the funds and we go for subsidies, sir, and only do so get here, private buyer, and try into me so Okay, so on the issue of the outlook for 2024 energy sector, me take away and it says, boom, so be by 2024. Ne ye It has always been about money. It has only been 2020, 2015, it was about infrastructure and money. But for now, infrastructure and the oh, it's be about 2024 is Kasem. And it's kind of a good year. And as it's kind of a year, it's kind of a year. Unless it is evidently clear, sir, it is technical. Yes. And yes, I did. It's Kasem. Opening Benjamin is here. Happy FM, that's it. Be brave. Yes, I'm here. Mask and so, so, ciao. Why is it so, ciao? Mask and so, ciao. Mask, so chiao. Mask, mask. Okay, me, 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 me chiano. Why, 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 you so? Ajingu, ajingu. Ajingu, okay, ajingu, me chiao. Happy FM. Okay, Benjamin Isia, and our tenant canoe, or your energy policy analyst.